Okay, this would be a pick a card reading. Take a moment. Take a look at the cards. See which ones are resonating with you at the moment. Choose your deck. And then we'll start the reading. Hello, my name is Renee, and this is a pick a card. These are the energies I want you to focus on and choose the energy that as actually resonates more with you right now. We have the Nine of Cups, the Seven of Swords the Four of Swords, and the Empress. Take a moment, take a deep breath, and choose your card. Okay. Card number one, the Nine of Cups. If you chose this card, You may be focusing on a wish fulfillment, more contentment, more happiness. Wishing coming home, more abundance, or good health. Okay, spirit, guides, and angels. Please deliver me a message for card number one. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords. I feel like you have a new beginning coming forth. Maybe new clarity on your on your life. On your situations the truth is coming out you're finding that you have victory in your life yes you have the king of wands and this could be someone around you or this could be you the King of Wands, he's very bold. He's a leader. He's very powerful. He's very um, charismatic. Okay. okay, you have the Five of Wands and the Four of Cups. You also have the Judgments. Like this goes here, that goes there. And I feel like you've kind of gone through it lately. If one thing hasn't gone wrong, you feel like everything's kind of falling apart all at once. You kind of feel like you missed an opportunity but with the judgment you have renewal oh yes there you go and the full you have a new beginning as well okay the fool, he's taking a risk. He's he's making a he's beginning a new journey. He's not worried about how he's gonna make that journey. He just sets off on his journey. And I think that's what you're doing right now. Yeah, the chariot. You're following your intuition, you're 
kind of going with the flow. And that's actually bringing you more contentment. You're going with the flow. I, if, if this isn't going with the flow, I feel like you're moving. You're moving. <laughs> and the Ace of Cups. Yes. Okay. Definitely, definitely new beginning. This is a new beginning. That's going to be a drastic change. This may be love. And come on now. Come on now. <laughs> You've also got the magician. Wow. Okay. And the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Cups. So you have many choices in this situation. You can either sit back and think about everything that's falling apart and just daydream about missing your opportunities, or you can move forward. Move into a new beginning, trust, have faith, use your intuition, and move into this last row. See, it starts out with clarity and kind of moves into a little instability. And now look at this, the last row. Wow. You go from the judgment to the fool. Chariot, Ace of Cups to the magician. Wow. This is just incredible. You definitely are moving into a new beginning and you have, you will have everything that you need. Everything that you need. It's all provided for you. You are actually turning your vision into reality so as above so below so you need to pull that pull that thought that dream that intention from down from the heavens and plant it into reality into the earth okay wow this is great. When I hit the five of wands and the four of cups, I wasn't quite sure where it was going. But wow. Okay. Good for you. Good for you. Okay, let's see what the universe has to say about this situation. This is definitely Nine of Cups energy. Definitely Nine of Cups energy. You've been dreaming about something and you're actually bringing it into fruition. Okay. Through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. Wow. Okay. Deck number one, or card number one, this is your reading. Wow. Okay. Good luck to you. Okay. Please comment below if this resonates with you. I would love to hear your comments. Okay, and let's move on to card number two. Card number two is the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords energy. message. 
When I was doing this, picking these cards, now I was thinking, now who on earth would choose the Seven of Swords? But then I thought about it, I'm like, okay, someone who feels like someone's talking about them, someone's being sneaky in their energy. Um, there may be jealousy around them at the moment. That is Seven of Swords energy. So yeah, if you feel like someone's being sneaky, someone's being conniving, that is the Seven of Swords energy. Have the Six of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Moon, the Four of Swords, and the Tower. Wow. These two want to come out. Okay, I don't read reverses, but I read reverses. Does that make any sense? I'll usually tell you about how I feel about the card. So it's an intuitive reading. And you have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So I believe in this situation, you are finding clarity in this situation. This situation is... At the beginning, we feel, okay, now, this warrior is coming back from battle. These people down here, they're jealous of his success. So I feel like at the moment, you may have people who are jealous of you. You may have people who um, want to hold you back, want to hold you back from doing something it is that, that you want to do. With the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords is usually very swift. So I think that he's going to bring swift action to this jealousy. And you're going to receive the clarity that you need to break free of these 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 chains. She's, she's bound with these chains. And she's blindfolded. But she's not confined. She can break free. I believe that you're going to receive fast communication. It's going to come, communication is going to come to you about this situation. See, because the people around you, the people who are jealous of you, they see you as having it all. They see you as the Queen of Pentacles, being stable, being uh, independent, being fruitful. You may have more than what they have. And I believe that they're being sneaky. They're being sneaky in this situation and actually secrets and, and uh, secrets are coming to light. On this situation 
But with those secrets come problems that you really don't see. I feel like you need to trust. You need to trust yourself in this situation. But yeah, you need to break away. You need to break away and renew yourself. Find some space for yourself in order to really recover from the situation because then this actually caused a great conflict. But after this conflict comes freedom. After this conflict comes freedom. You also have the seven of war, seven of wands, and the king of cups. So this may be all over someone else in your life. Someone may be talking about you because they want what you have. They may want your girlfriend. They want your boyfriend. Uh, they want your husband. They want your wife. Um, they these rumors were started because. They want what you have. And this is your last stand. This is your last stand to keep what you have. This is your freedom. This is your freedom because you're taking a stand. You're standing on your belief. You're going to be You're going to be, um, you're going to overcome the situation. But this situation is going to take a lot out of you. Like I said, you're going to feel like you're actually confined, like no one is on your side. But they are. They are. Remember, you're the queen. You're the queen. That's why they're doing this, because they feel like you're the queen. You have what they don't have. Wow. Okay, this is a deep reading. This is a really deep reading. And I have some cards that will not go on the deck. Okay. What are these? Okay. Yeah, the Knight of Wands, the, the Queen of Pentacles again, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, you have to decide if this is worth fighting for. Is what the thing that they want, is what they want that is yours worth fighting for? And you have to decide because it, it's... If not, it's going to be, be so disappointing. You're, you're going to be heartbroken over the situation if you don't fight for it. But I think that um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pass. It's going to pass very quickly. They're going to get bored with the situation and see that they have no chance whatsoever because you have double queens. You are... All that, and they know it. They're so jealous of you because you have everything that they want and they can't have. So they're jealous. They're, they're so jealous of you. But if you stand strong and persevere, you will overcome everything because you have the lovers. The Ace of Swords, you're going to receive clarity. And you're also going to see you got the King of Cups twice, too. You got the King and the Queen twice. The Queen of Pentacles twice. The King of Cups twice. Yeah, so this could be about your love. This, this could be about your lover. And I'm seeing that you should stand strong. You should stand strong in this situation. You have all the power and you don't know it. And I see that you're also being supported.
supported. So you also have support. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what this has to say. And then we'll go ahead and end this reading. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell. Please tell me in the comments. A powerful move. Yeah. Okay. The number 15 might also be something significant for you. What is the number 15? But again, you're going to make a power move. You're going to show them, you know what? I am worth being jealous over because I have this. You can't have it. And, you know, that's it. It's done. It's over with. You might as well hang up your coat and just move on because you can't have it. Okay. Pile number two. This is your reading. I hope this resonates with you. Pile number three. Pile number three. Here we go. The Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is usually rest, recovery, rejuvenation. Tap into the energy. If this is actually the way you're feeling right now, that you need more rest in your life, you need to feel more rejuvenated. Um, maybe you need to meditate. This could also mean that you've been ill for a while and you want healing. Okay, so let's see what spirit has to say for you. If this is your energy, let's see what message spirit has. Don't read reversals. The Nine of Wands. The Six of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Three of Cups. also have the Knight of Swords. And the Wheel of Fortune. OK. 
Okay. Interesting. Bottom of the deck energy, you have the Ace of Wands. So it could be after your period of rest and rejuvenation. You've been recovering. Um, the bottom of the deck energy is you have a new beginning. I feel like with this energy, you've really been going through it. You've been feeling unfulfilled, needing to recover in this situation, but I feel like and maybe you've had people who are supporting you, maybe a mother, a sister, but this could be your energy. But you're definitely supported. Um, with the Three of Cups, you may be invited soon to, to a get-together. Or this could be just you being supported. Just straightforward. Now with your current energy, I feel like you're standing strong. You're standing firm. Um, hang in there. You're close to your completion. You're close to this cycle. You're close to this cycle ending. So take your time to rest and recover because after that recovery, you have a Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles, after this Nine of Wands, you know, you have Nine Nine. That's very abundant energy. Um, and she is very abundant. She's very independent. She's probably single. But I see that the queen is looking directly at her. The queen is watching over her. And this is your current energy. You're in the Nine of Pentacles. Even if you don't feel like it. You're in the Nine of Pentacles. You're blossoming into this. And I feel like once you see that you're blossoming into this Nine of Pentacles, you're going to be forced into action in order to find a new direction. You're moving in a new direction. You're moving in the direction of a love. And this doesn't have to be love of a lover. This can also be friendship, companionship, uh, caregiving. Because you do have the Six of Pentacles here as well which is also giving and receiving, a very balanced energy. You could be on the receiving end of this Six of Pentacles. You're on the receiving end of this love, of this great change. Now this all comes after this renewal. Hmm. Okay. Can we clarify this? Can we find some clarity in this information? Spirits, clarify. Can we have a clarifying card for the Four of Cups, please? That is way too many cards. I'm not going to take none of those. They're way too many. There's about five cards here. Okay, a clarifying card. Oh, 
Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Let's clarify these cards, please. Five of Wands, yeah. You've been going through conflict. This could be a battle within yourself, or this could be a battle with just things going wrong. And it could be work. But you feel overburdened by this information. With the Queen of Cups, you also have temperance. So you had the Queen of Cups. She's bringing you balance. She's bringing you harmony. And Three of Cups, you're supported down here as well. Card for the Three of Cups, please. The Two of Wands. Yeah, with the Two of Wands, you're currently waiting. You're looking out. You're waiting for some plans to come forward. Yeah, with this Nine of Wands. This has brought you a lot of disappointments. Some heartbreak. Some tears, I think. Because of this conflict. The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, see, you don't believe that you're the Nine of Pentacles. I believe that that's why you're into a recovery stage. That's why you're... She's like in the fetal position, like giving up. But I, you are the Nine of Pentacles, but I don't feel like you believe it. You're confined in your thoughts. You're letting your thoughts hold you back. Yeah, you have the three of wands. You need to progress through that. You need to progress through that in order to get to your next stage. The six of pentacles. Yeah, the six of cups. I feel like you should... Rely on your family at the moment. This could also be someone coming in that may be part of your family or maybe from your past who's going to give you guidance or give you a lot of support in this situation. Lovers, please. The death. So, yeah, this is the lovers and the death card. So you feel like, I feel with, with clarifying this, you feel like none of this is true. Like none of this is able to resonate with you. Because the death, this is an ending. But the lovers, this is new love. And with the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Knight of Cups. Let's clarify this death card one more time, please. Why the death card and the lovers? Why the death card and the lovers? Okay, the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups again. And the Queen of Cups. You also have the Queen of Wands on the bottom. Okay. <clears throat> the Death Card and the Lovers. I feel like with the lovers, as I said, this may not be love, 
this may be a choice. This may be partnership, companionship, um, new friendship. And with one, there's an ending and a new beginning. And for some reason, I'm, I'm focused on this boat in the distance. Tell me if that boat resonates with you, because I'm, I'm getting kind of, I'm kind of stumped on that. But I, I see that boat clearly. That's kind of what I see in this card is that boat. And the Four of Cups and the Queen of Cups, this may be your passions. You're bored and unfulfilled at the moment, and you feel like this can be reawakened. See, the Queen of Cups, she's very intuitive. She's so focused on her cup. She's like cherishing her cup. And the queen of wands, she's very intuitive. Wow, okay. Okay, I'm kind of seeing what it is now. This isn't an ending. You're feeling disappointed and defeated. You're feeling unfulfilled. Okay. Now you have the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Cups. So the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, but this could be moving and changing in your favor. And the Knight of Cups now, this is not going to be quick action. This is going to take some time. So this is going to take a couple weeks. The Knight of Cups is not fast-moving energy. But I think that you're slowly moving into the direction that you need to be going in. Okay, pile number three. This is deep. The, yeah, this was really deep. You had me going there for a moment. I was like, what the heck are these cards saying to me here? But yeah, I get it now. Okay, if this reading resonated with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell. Let me know what's going on because you kind of got me going with that one. All right. Okay. Last but not least, the Empress. If you chose the Empress card, if you feel like you are absorbing the energy of the Empress, Like, you're birthing new ideas, new creations. You're very, very fertile for abundance or maybe becoming a mother. Um, she's also very beautiful energy. 
course, the King of Wands pops out first, of course. Um, the Empress, she's carrying the world. She's carrying all the hopes and the dreams of the world. She's very abundant. She's very intuitive. Okay, of course, the seven of pinnacles. The moon. No, that's a star. Sorry, the star. The Seven of Cups. The Two of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords. Oh, excuse me, that's the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Wands. And the four of pentacles. Bottom of the deck, you have the sun. So you have the empress and the sun. So that's a very powerful reading right there by itself. So the empress, as I said, the empress is very fiery energy. She's very abundant. She can bring whatever she wants into fruition um, she's very fertile for abundance she's also fertile to give life so with choosing this card for your reading if you want to have kids that might be something that's in your future if you don't want to have kids if you don't want to have a baby I think you should take the precautions because uh, this may be a new child or a new family member coming in soon. So, okay, you have the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Star. The, excuse me, the King of Wands. The King of Wands, uh, with the King of Wands, you have the Temperance. Okay. And the King of Wands, he's very fiery energy. He's very bold and assertive. This could be your energy as well. Or this could be someone close to you. Um, but I feel like this King of Wands brings you balance, brings you harmony. This could be your counterpart. This could be someone you hold very dear to you. And you also have the Seven of Cups. So I feel like you are... Probably daydreaming about your possibilities. Um, you're daydreaming about what can be because you're kind of overburdened and focused, but you're also at a completion. So the wands is not only feeling overburdened or a heavy weight on you, it's also the last card of the wands. So it's also a completion and a healing you have healing hope and healing wish upon a star and you actually have the star twice in this reading so with the star twice in each corner um you should definitely make that wish a wish 
could be coming true. A wish for your for fulfillment. I can't speak now. Can we have a card for the Seven of Pentacles, please? Seven of Pentacles. This is something that you've been working very hard for. Maybe you've been putting your attentions out into the universe about things that you've wanted. Um, and you've been giving your effort. You've been working hard to obtain it. Okay, you have the world and the five of pentacles so yeah you you are very close to completing your goal you're very close to completing your goal and i believe that you have a desire for this to be long term for long-term security in your life. And with the Two of Pentacles, I feel like you're finally, finally balanced. You're, you've been juggling with the Ten of Wands. You've been juggling your priorities. You've been saving your Pentacles. setting your priorities and now it's all coming into fruition with the two of pentacles you also have the page of cups so yeah the page of cups this is my card that this is my believe the impossible is possible card. I think with You've been studying really hard. You've been making plans. And with the Eight of Wands, now you're going to receive communication on this. This is coming forward. You're going to receive communication on this um, very soon. This is going to be a quick action. You're going to receive news about this. Seven of Cups again. Wow. This is also going to give you many options. This is going to give you many options. You're going to have choices. Not all these choices will be the right choice, but you're going to have choices. You're going to have choices in this situation. With the star, you not only have a wish, you also have clarity and hope. Um, I think this is going to... I think that you'll be coming into the spotlight. You're going to have lots of attention. Because you also have the Ten of Pentacles. And I believe that it's attention that you're not going to want. Okay, I'm, I'm just being real with you. You you don't want the attention. You just want to sit back and and be by yourself. I mean, you don't want the attention you're about to receive. But the Ten of Pentacles. You have the nine of wands the nine of wands you should stand strong you're close to your goal actually the ten of pentacles you're already at the goal but the nine of wands says keep moving your pentacles are very close and we have the four of pentacles in the bottom 
Okay, Queen of Swords. Okay, I feel like this in the Queen of Wands. Wow, the Queens have been really coming out in this reading. In this whole reading, the Queens have been coming out. Okay, with this, with this Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, I feel like you should be aware. Um, be aware of being greedy. Beware of someone being greedy around you. You have the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. So I feel like you, you are standing strong. You need to per persevere and push forward because you're very close to your Ten of Pentacles. Um, and beware of people who are trying to take your Pentacles away from you. Because I feel like with the Four of Pentacles here and the Queen of Swords, She's gained clarity. She's gained truth on the situation. And the Four of Swords, he's found someone who's being greedy, who's trying to take his pentacles away from him. That's why he's holding on to his pentacles so tightly. So be aware of someone lying, cheating, or stealing from them because that's exactly what they want to do, especially when you're in this Empress energy and you also have the sun so yeah and right underneath the sun you have the four of wands so yeah you have you have a lot of happiness coming forward for you but be careful for that those people who are trying to steal that away from you be alert be alert Let's get one card. One oracle card to see what else is going before we end this reading. Okay, we have a Mary Motive. Okay, the number 20. The number 20 might be very important to you at this time. And at the bottom, we have a divine matrix. So yeah, something is moving. Something is moving, and I believe it's going to be a, a big surprise. The number 20 and the number 44 may be very interesting for you. You may want to remember those numbers. Okay, this is your reading. If this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell. I appreciate all of your support. And I'm, I'm telling you, this pick a card has really drained all of my energy. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and take a rest and rejuvenation myself very shortly. So I'm losing my voice and everything now. So yeah, I thank you for, for watching. And like I said, if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell. I appreciate all of your support. And as always, love and light. Many blessings for you.